Hello everyone, welcome back to Mills Golf. Yes, I'm back, it's been a while. Um, it's been a little odd for me lately to uh, to get out here and practice. Uh, so, where I have been the past weeks is uh, I've been going to graduations for people uh, who are related to me. I've been going out to everywhere in the freaking country to uh, send them where they need to go. And I'm finally done with all of that. That was all end of May. That's why I did nothing end of May. So, uh, so yeah, I'm here now. And yeah, I played two tournaments, by the way, <laughs> the, ever since uh, I came back. And it's been rough. So, uh, this is my first day to be able to be out here alone and just practice, which is what I really, really need. So, I'm going to be here for a while, <laughs> okay? So, um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to go to the range. I'm going to putt. I'm going to chip. I'm going to work on uh, driver, wedges, irons, everything. Everything needs worked on, and it's going to happen today. So, I don't know how much of it I'll cover because it's going to be a little weird. Uh, but... Some guy's looking at me weird. That's why I'm kind of pretending I'm doing something because it would be really awkward. But you see me just talking to a camera in my car. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys out there. I don't know how much I'm going to record per se, but I'm definitely going to record some of it because it's going to be golden seeing me play awful. So uh, see you guys out there. As you guys can see, hopefully, I'm missing target. <laughs> uh, I don't know exactly, I just don't know the answer. It's weird, I, I, I know how to fix golf swings. I'm gonna do it for a living. But me right now, I don't know exactly what's going on. I'm gonna use this footage as actually uh, a little bit of a helping mechanism. But it's just, as soon as I get up to the higher clubs, especially the high clubs, I struggle to keep the ball staying in line. I just don't know what it is. I know it's slightly a little more windy today. It's coming more into on this range, so it does make it a little harder to keep the ball in line. But I should be able to. And it's just, it's bizarre. I don't know what's going on. So, uh, I'll just probably grab another bucket and uh, try to figure things out. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, a lot of it has to do with consistent path. I don't deliver a consistent path, if you guys know. That's the that's the way at which the club goes uh, through impact. If, I don't, if that's so inconsistent, I can't hit it consistently. Sorry if the wind's is gusting right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to do exactly. So I'm going to just uh, try my best to uh, uh, keep that path consistent for now. And when I look back, I'm going to check out some different things. I might add a text here and there to try to, uh, try to see what's going on. But other than that, uh, I'm just going to really try to slow myself down and really try to hit the and we'll see how it goes. So that's why I'm going to get it. Let's um, hit a few more and see what I can do. So a good example there is uh, that was on target, that was perfect. So if you look at that swing compared to one previous, you go back and try to check it out, then you can see kind of the intricacies of why, what makes a good shot in a bad shot. And that's how I learned a lot about the, the swing as I've been going. I've only been playing this game for a little over four years. So, so yeah, I think I've made decent progress. So yeah, um, that was more, that was slower. 
and I, I'm just talking through what I'm thinking, I'm trying to figure this out. That one was a lot slower, and I, and I stood a little taller. I don't know if you actually noticed that on the camera, but I stood a little taller. And that might be able to get myself into a more consistent path. We'll see. So we'll see how that, that turns out. I don't know. It's just weird. Example of me hanging off the planet. <laughs> oh boy. It's gonna be a long couple of weeks, tell you that right now. My path has to be off. I can feel that be more hurt. Be the path because on that one, I could see myself raising that club so freaking high. I don't know, I want to look, but I'm not gonna look until I'm actually done filming. So, so yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Man, this one needs to shut up because I, I hate how it's wobbling for you guys, kind of stuff. But we'll see if I hit a few more. I don't know, this is messing with my head. I don't know what they're doing. That's why. Uh, if you guys can tell, go back and go, if you're curious, you're not, then just don't, I don't care. But <laughs> that last shot, at least the past shots, if my prediction's correct, has been the club going like that, facing the sky at the top. And that's a close club face. What happens with that is when you have a close club face coming up the top of the uh, goal circle, when you're coming down to rotate, your face is already closed, so it's going to be going left. So, what happens with that is that I'm hitting a lot of lefts and straight rights. And what's going to happen is when I have that face, I have to really fire hard or I have to, uh, I have to change my path to, to hook it in a right to left shot, really severe right to left shot back on the target. And that's what I've been hitting. So it makes sense in the, in the way I'm swinging the golf club. And, Really identify what I'm doing wrong. So I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. I'm gonna do one. My first. Uh, I'm gonna go to the top and stop. I'm gonna practice. Like, do it where it was, and the second one I'm gonna do it where it should be, and then hit a golf ball. And I'm just so I can represent to you guys what exactly is going on. So I'll do that right now. That was the problem, and I should have known that too. I should have known that was the issue because I hit that ball dead straight. That's the issue, and I always had that problem. And I don't know why. Whenever I have issues with my golf swing, I never identify it as that. Never. And it always is the answer every single time. And I always randomly remember, like in the middle of it, and just check, and it's what's up what's happening. So that's annoying. But we figure it out as we're talking about this. So yeah. I'm gonna hit another bucket, really work on this, and then I'm gonna go to the chipping green, and I'll record a little bit on the chipping green, tell you what I'm thinking about my chipping as well, because it actually hasn't been that bad. So I'll see you guys over there. So I've been on the course for a little while. Uh, I'm waiting right now, so I am doing this at the moment. I have a guy up there who looks really annoyed, and then there's a twosome up there on the green, which is taking an actually long time to play golf. So. Yeah, I played nine holes so far. I did not go to the chipping green yet because I just putted a little bit and I was actually feeling all right. So I was like, 
I sure yeah, I might as well play. So, so yeah, the sun's finally coming out like I thought it would, and then we'll play some good golf. I shot one over 37 on the front, which is such a far cry from uh, what I've been doing the past couple days, which is amazing. Because it's just ironic that golf is just such a particular game that's just it, one little thing's off, you are just screwed. So, so I fixed that one little thing on the range, like I told you all earlier, and then now I'm playing all right. So it's weird. It's very weird. I want to see if I can repeat that on this back nine. It's really, I'm, I'm really testing right now, testing what I can and cannot do. But uh, it's feeling good playing the, the back tees because I'm a real man. And yeah, <laughs> so that's how this day's going. I'm going to play nine more holes, and then I'll probably see you guys on the chipping green because I got a few ideas I'd like to share with y'all over there. So I see you guys down there. And we're back, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I didn't get to record it all on the chipping and putting green because there's a couple of older gentlemen out there that were probably wouldn't have appreciated it if I were talking to a freaking camera the whole time. So, yeah, because they have their little league out here in about an hour or so, so they're, they're working on their stuff. So, so yeah, um, I've been out here for about six hours, yeah, so that's a pretty good day. Uh, uh, I worked on everything. As you guys saw, I was really upset with uh, that I didn't figure out what was wrong with my golf swing earlier than what I already did. Uh, the issue was just where my club face was. It, it's just not in the right position, and now it is. And I hit a lot better shots today. I shot 77 uh, today, uh, 18 holes, and it, it was it was better than the past days I've had. So that's a positive uh, to to go by and. Uh, Made a lot more putts today, chipped the ball better, just did everything a lot better. And it, and it should be getting better every single day I play since I've been gone for about two weeks. So, yeah, it should be getting better. Man, this place is hopping as well. It's, it's summer, it's June, and it's really, really nice. So, um, so yeah, so how my day, days are going to be looking now uh, that summer is here. Uh, I have a tournament tomorrow, and in case I don't get this thing out the day I record it, which is probably not going to happen, but we'll see. Uh, it's June 7th, so if I don't get it out on June 7th, please yell at me. And, uh, yeah, so I should have one tomorrow, uh, the 8th, and then I'll have the weekend to do stuff and get back out on Tuesday with uh, tournament rounds on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So that's going to end up being what's going to be the full summer. So I'll have these out pretty much whenever I practice, to be honest with you. And I don't know, I can't record during tournaments. I, I, I was thinking about it. I was trying to consider how to do it, but I just can't do it. I can't expect, uh, if one of my parents ends up coming to that crap, I can't expect them to uh, record this stuff for me. So, so yeah, um, if you guys like what I do and you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave them down, leave down a comment below. That'd be great. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me, please, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. So I'll see you guys uh, in the next video and have a great day.